Hey everybody, I've been watching this guy by the name of Josh Prey on YouTube. He's funny. He does these five things uh, that with redneck stuff. He's a black guy. I guess he lives down in Florida. Got some redneck friends, some country friends, southern friends. I like his videos. I like them a lot. Uh, they give me an idea. So, here we go. Yeah, the light in here is not right, not great, but oh well. Alright, so give me an idea. I'm going to try to do five things not to do to a person who has IED. Number one. If a person has IED and they say stop because you're picking on them one time, don't continue. Don't matter if they're drinking. Don't matter if they're high. Don't matter if they're sober. Don't do it. It won't turn out good. Unless they can control it. Number two. Don't interrupt them. A person with IED, at least me, Hates to be interrupted. Aggravates them. And then that starts the snowball effect. So, don't interrupt them. Number three. Don't diss them. If they're, ang if they're angry, don't diss them. You'll regret it. Simple as that. All right, number four, don't badmouth their work if they're in a bad mood. If it's something they've been fighting with to try to get done due to maybe physical issues, mental issues, weather, whatever, don't downgrade it. If you do, do it constructively. Most people will respond to constructive work better than, or just constructive criticism better than just saying, example. All right. It's sprinkling raining out here right now where I live. If I'm working on something with wood and I got to take it inside. As you can see, I'm in the garage. I do a lot of my woodwork out here. If it's raining real bad, I don't want to take it from in here to in there. The project might be done. I might have done finished it. Alright? But I don't want to take it from in here to out there. Into the house because of the rain. Don't, if a person has IED, don't say, Well, what did you do today? I don't see nothing done because you went in the house. You didn't come out here. Start of a fight. Number five. Goes with number four and all the rest. Don't, by any means necessarily, say anything that will start a fight. Plain and simple. You don't have to tiptoe around the person, but read their mood before you, before what you say. I know it's hard for a significant other to deal with that, but that is something you signed on being with that person. I'm not saying you got to tiptoe and be, you know, all, oh no, I can't say this because of that to your girlfriends. There is a thing called a private life. You know, I am I don't, I try not to say anything bad to my wife or even about my wife to other people. I love her to death. Do anything for her. She knows that. 
But, and she's a lot better than my ex-wife about this. She comes home from work. I'm not, I don't work right now because of my physical issues. I'd love to be able to get back to work and maybe down the road I can't. But my wife now, even now, she says she'll come home and I'll be in a bad mood. She won't read my mood and then she'll say something. Maybe it, maybe she says it the right way, but it's the wrong tone. And it just sets me off. Rest of the night, I'm pissed. Everything she says. I'm like, yeah, just get the hell. Just get out of here. Get the hell out of here. I don't want to deal with you. That's what happens. You know, there's a saying, read the room. A person has IED, you really have to read the room. Because if they can't control it, if they don't notice it, they'll blow up quick and absolutely just demolish anything you say. And some people, I haven't, thankfully, <clears throat> but some people will take it from a tongue lashing, just letting them have it by the mouth, you know, just a, abusive words and blah, 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 and not care, to using their fists, using their legs, throwing them against a wall, you know. I'm not condoning any abuse. Don't get me wrong. I can I do not condone any abuse. Okay. But if you have a physical you know, a mental IED thing and your spouse knows it, I'm not saying she deserves it by any means, or they deserve it, because it could be a woman have this, too. Um, I'm not saying anybody deserves it. Please, I'm saying that now. But I'm saying from the IEDs part, they don't care. At that point, if they go to get physical... They don't give a rat's ass. They might love you to death, be the most important person in, in the world to you. To You know, you might be the most important person to them. <coughs> but they could give a rat's ass at that moment. They're uncontrolled. Okay. I'm not saying every abuser is that way. Some people get off on it, and I, I, I totally, 100%, do not condone any abuse domestic or otherwise okay I don't want wars I don't want anything okay I don't want domestic abuses I don't want I don't want any kind of fighting I hate fighting because I have IED and I've done enough of it I have some videos coming up that I haven't posted yet that are kind of, they were harder for me to do. Um, but I think they needed to be said. I don't condone any of the actions done. I'm just saying that now. When those videos come out. But my number one thing is don't push a person with IED because they'll turn from being lovey-dovey to I don't give a rat's ass to I'm going to kill you and that can happen within a minute minute and a half, two minutes, ten minutes depends on the person I'm not saying everybody has that that kills people I'm not saying anything of that nature I'm just saying that this is it's part of the um, thing that people have with IED all right in the video see y'all later from the village idiot have a good day bye